Please hit that subscribe button and give this video a like, as well as turn on your notifications so you won't miss when I upload a new video. With that said, let's get on with today's video. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is going to be of my first time sublimating some socks. Um, this first clip was just me showing you what I designed. Well, I didn't actually design it. I just found a pattern in Canva and I just printed it out. Here are the socks that I'm using. They are from Dollar Tree. Um, the ladies socks, they are 97, 3, 97 polyester, 3% spandex. Um, I just created a little sock jig out of an old cardboard envelope from FedEx. Um, I did double it up to give it a little more sturdiness and yeah so there is my design it's gonna go ahead and print out um it took forever but it printed out and it was really bright i still am using the ink i'll show you um the ink that i'm using in a second here and i'm really loving it it comes out bright there it is walcock or wocock whatever kind of sublimation ink it is and i do buy it off of amazon and i have the link in my description box if anybody wants to try it so here are the socks and like i said i made my own little jigs for them there is my design again i'm just going to um i'm gonna cut the cut around the design after i tape it to the paper at first i was going to cut the paper first but then i decided against it in case i cut it too small so i'm going to go ahead and lay my socks um front side or top side down first and as you can see right there all i did is like fold it down my sole part or the heel part i folded it downward and taped it so it would be kind of flat and then I just um, taped down both pair of my socks on the sheet um, with some heat tape so that it wouldn't move and then I'm going to cut it all out. Yeah, so now I'm just going to cut around the part where I uh, taped it down. And like I said, um, I did tape it down with heat tape so it won't move. And when I take it over to my heat press, I'm going to make sure I face it down. So where the sublimation side is face up. And you'll see me do that here. I have my butcher paper on the bottom to protect my heat platen or whatever you call that thing on the bottom of the heat press. And then I'm going to flip that over. And I make sure that I have enough uh, butcher paper around the outside for any blowout as well. And then I take the second piece and I put it over it. And I am pressing at 400 for 60 seconds. Um, this paper that I'm using is the Asa paper. Um, I did print my design on a 13 by 19 so that I can get both the front and the back on one sheet. So here is the top side of the socks. Um, after I pressed it, it is hot. I don't know why I don't have in, on my heat gloves. I'm always burning myself. I still haven't learned my lesson yet. But yeah, um, so you see all that blowout on that paper. That's why that butcher paper is important. So as you can see there, I'm going to pull these off of the paper carefully. Um, take the tape off. And then I'm going to simply flip them over and uh put them on the other side but that color is everything that color is so nice and so vibrant that ink is really good and i think i paid only 15 dollars for a, my complete set of ink so i do love cosmos ink um but i pay around 50 dollars with shipping for cosmos ink and this one is just as good now for the back side of these socks or what would be the bottom of the sock i was a little leery about what to do with the heel part so what i figured out or what i decided to do was instead of leaving the heel part out i pushed the heel part inside as you see me doing there i just tuck it inside and then it'll make like a little seam there and i'm gonna do that with the other sock as well i'm just gonna push it inside and this should already be a little bit of like a seam there from 
the heel from the sole part being taped down when I press the front you just basically push it in and then I'm gonna flip my socks over and put them on the next piece of um, paper sub paper and tape it down the same way I did before and I'm gonna do the same process I'm gonna press it again for 60 seconds at 400 degrees So have any of you ever supplemented on socks? Do you have a favorite brand that you like to use or from a certain company? If you do, let me know down in the um, comment section. I'm looking to invest in some blanks coming soon in the next couple of months um, so that I can get some new projects out. So yeah, let me know um, if you all have any uh, favorite sublimation socks or any other blanks um, favorites that you have. So here we are again you see all that blowout from the ink it's very important to put the butcher paper on there so you won't get anything on your heat press um, this is a cheap heat press but it still was expensive to me you know I'm not made of money so I still want to protect it um, but yeah so um, here's how the back turned out or the bottom of the sock turned out like the color is so nice and I do think I could have got gotten even more ink out of it if I would have maybe pressed with more pressure but I forgot to adjust my heat press but that's okay um, it still came out looking so cute so I'm just gonna remove all the heat tape and then I'm gonna remove my little homemade jigs and then I'll show you what those little jigs look like as well like I said, I just um, cut up an old cardboard mailer and I cut out four pieces and then I just taped two together to make each side. And that's how the socks come out looking. And when you tuck in that sole like that, you see it leaves that part white. I didn't necessarily know that it was going to do that, but it actually turned out really nice. And these socks are everything. Like the little design is so cute. These are a little big for my daughter. I made them for her. Um, she's like in the size three, three and a half. These are ladies four through 10, I think. But again, like I said, they were from Dollar Tree. So you can't really, you know, it's, it's just for practice. This is my first time ever sublimated on socks. But when I saw them in Dollar Tree today, I couldn't pass them up. And I really, really love the outcome. It is so bright. It's so pretty. And anybody that knows me knows I'm all about the colorful stuff. Like, it makes me happy. So all these cute little kawaii designs and skulls and, you know, everything is just so cute. It's just my style. So, yeah, guys, here are the socks again. Some final looks. And... I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm happy to be back I took about a week off um, I had my birthday and then I had a couple of things happen that just kind of put me off my game but I'm back and I do have some nice fun things coming up um, in the future so I'm trying my best to get it together for you guys but if, if it's anything that you'd like to see me do or you have any comments or suggestions yeah leave them down in the comment box and I will definitely read them I always respond I'm happy to read them and I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.